Salt Lake City, the capital of Utah in the USA's west, has a population of 200,000, with the greater metropolitan area an additional million. Salt Lake City International Airport is a major base for Delta Airlines. The airport has direct connections with Canada and Mexico, as well as a few with European cities. In addition, the domestic timetable makes the city very accessible to travelers. The metropolitan area is worth considering because of the quality of the transport infrastructure. Places like Ogden and Provo are no more than half an hour to the west of the city. However, there is plenty to appeal to tourists wanting to make their base more centrally in the city. Here are some ideas about where to stay in Salt Lake City. I'll start with downtown. Downtown is the heart of Salt Lake City, its oldest district, and laid out in a grid with Temple Square at its center. The administrative and business districts here as well define downtown as the heart of Utah itself. It predates the city's foundation with the plan intending to create a town of 20,000 people. Brian Young's arrival was in 1847, over a decade later. The discovery of silver changed things dramatically. Downtown earned the nickname Whiskey Street for obvious reasons. Central City is the link between downtown and the neighborhood known as Sugar House, more of that area later. It is another area of infinite variety with plenty of shopping, good cuisine and open spaces. Talking of cuisine, one place, the Park Cafe, you will find a waiting list for breakfast if you arrive after 9am. Other places are just as impressive later in the day, with plenty of different kinds of cuisine from Japanese to Middle Eastern to local favorites. Avenues, Capitol Hill area above downtown and Central City, has an atmosphere all of its own. Visitors and locals can enjoy artisan coffee and craft beers, great local cuisine and historic bed and breakfast accommodation. Utah has a conservative reputation, but this district in Salt Lake City is famously liberal. Sugar House got its name from the sugar beet planted by the early settlers in this part of Utah. That was a century and a half ago. These days, Sugar House is a lively neighborhood within a large city. It lies towards the southern boundary of Salt Lake City. The university and foothill neighborhood around any university tends to be full of life, and this applies within Salt Lake City as well. It is north of Sugar House and has equally fine views of the Wasatch Mountains. Sunset is a great time to be there with a camera. Some visitors prefer to stay away from the center of a city, and in the case of Salt Lake City, that can be a place like Sandy. Sandy is within Salt Lake County, but it is actually a separate incorporated city. It is close enough to Salt Lake City to simply blend in. The local Salt Lake soccer sides actually play in the Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy. Salt Lake City is known worldwide as the home of the Mormons, but it is also a significant tourist destination unrelated to religious beliefs. Its location in the west of the USA is largely away from large population areas. As a result, the majority of visitors come for outdoor recreation. From spring onwards, hikers, joggers and bikers have plenty of trails to follow and a great natural environment to enjoy. Winter sports attract others, so Salt Lake City is never without visitors. You will find a good infrastructure within the city in terms of accommodation, public transport, bars and restaurants. Its local airport connects people from far and wide to Salt Lake City.